everyone and welcome back to our next session for Perspective One Drawing. Today we are going to be making our very own one perspective scene for drawing. In the end it will look something like this, but we have to make our way up there. So from our last lesson, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It's really helpful, it's a good basis for what we're going to start with. So first off we're going to have to make our one point perspective. All you need is your pencil, a ruler, and an eraser. I will be using marker so it's easier to see, and then I'll be using different colors to kind of talk about for different lines. So the first line you're going to make, of course, is your horizon line. This one I will make in pencil, but I'll make it kind of dark, because this one you will be erasing. So kind of make it a little on the lighter side. I'm just making it dark so you can see it. All right, next you'll make your vanishing point, which this time for this for the sake of this drawing, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna make it right here in the middle because everything's gonna go into this line. This is where our street's gonna end. This is where all our buildings are gonna go into. Our skyline's gonna go into. It'll work out great. Next, you are going to make the outline for your street. I will use the marker this time. So you can make it as wide as you want or as skinny as you want. I'm going to make it kind of skinnier so we can fit in a lot of cool buildings into our drawing. Alright, so our imaginary street is going to go right here for me. You could have it be bigger, smaller, it doesn't really matter. This is just the base and this is just the lining work. Next, you're going to want to make lines for the top. This is going to be the tops of your building. So again, I'm going to do this one in pencil. And your tops of your building are also going to end up going into your horizon line. So you can have your building in the front be your tallest building. So I'm going to have it go all the way up to my like top corner. And draw it all the way up there. My tallest building will be the one up here. And my smaller buildings will be the one that's farther back on the street. So then go ahead and make another line on the other side for the tops of either you can have buildings on the other side, trees, it could be just about anything you want. Usually it's, buildings are a little bit easier, but you can also add wildlife, trees, animals as we go on. Next we're going to go ahead and make our road because that's going to be the easiest part. So go ahead and put your ruler down the middle. This is where you're going to make your like dotted lines for the road. So I'm going to make mine in yellow. Just because I usually see yellow lines on the road. So we're going to make a couple just as long as they're nice and long. And if I want to, I can go back, make them a little bit thicker so they're easier to see. My yellow marker is kind of dirty because I blended stuff with it. So now I have my lines for the road. Next we're going to go ahead and if we talked about our last lesson, we talked about how to make um, the 3D blocks that we were talking about. This is going to come really in handy for when we're making our next part of the buildings. So first you're going to go ahead and make a straight line. This is going to be one of the sides for your building. Go ahead and connect it with the horizon line and with the line you made for the top of your buildings. After that, you're going to go ahead and make a straight line across from where this building here, where you put this line for your top of your building for where you had the top of your building versus where your horizon line is. The line you just drew up, make a line vertical, horizontal, sorry, across. So then you'll have the beginning, the front part of your box. So this is going to be part of your, the front part of your building. The second part of your building is going to be the part that you see going towards the um, vanishing point, which will be this next side. So you'll put, use the parallel lines like we talked about before. Go ahead, you put your parallel line, go down a little bit with your ruler to make the next side of your building. So go to where the top of your building line is, all the way down to your horizon line. And look at that, we've already made a front and a side to a building. You can see it's sloping, it's going towards this vanishing point. You can go ahead and continue to do this for a couple more buildings. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one. So that's going to be the front of my building. I'm going to slide down 
to where I have the front of my building here. And I'm going to slide down a little bit and make the side. And if you want to have them like, super close to each other, go ahead and just slide down. Don't even bother making a top part because it's all going to be one. This is just going to be the side of the building then because we're not making a front because it's so close to this next one. And then go ahead and make some more building. So I'm going to make another one that's not quite as close here and slide it down and make it here. So there I have some buildings that are getting ready to go. If I want to next, I can go ahead and make some, I'm going to make trees. So to make trees, it's super easy since we're not actually following with um, this like super structural that we have going with the buildings. It's going to be a little more organic. So then for this one, I'm going to have just really basic trees. So what you're going to do is try follow this line. So about the top of your trees will touch this, but they'll get smaller and shorter as you go towards the vanishing point. So I'm going to make a tree here. I'm going to go ahead and make this one kind of behind this one. Another tree. Another tree smaller tree because it's getting farther away and get a really tiny tree all the way down the street next if you want to since we have the road here you can keep this and have it like this but otherwise you can elongate your buildings to make them bigger and make them pop out more so what we're gonna do is you're going to ignore your horizon line and go ahead and take this and go all the way down to the bottom of the page. If I can draw a straight line, that'd be awesome. Straight line all the way down. So this is gonna be one really, really tall building, so you will end up erasing your horizon line. So then for the side of this building, I'm gonna go ahead, draw the line all the way down. So now it's one really, really big building that'll come up closer to us. Do the same thing here. draw a straight line all the way down and then also I'm gonna do it here it's gonna run into the road which is okay because actually it'll make it look super cool because it's gonna look like the road is going all the way up which it is with the vanishing point go ahead and make the rest of your buildings if you want to make them look closer make them look cooler all right and then for your trees you can do the same thing if you want to so I'm gonna just make super super tall tree Oop, my pencil broke. Super, super tall tree. I'm gonna use some charcoal because it's darker so you'll be able to see it. There we go, super tree, super tree. You can even make the tree bigger and add more to it. Super tree, make the tree bigger and add some more to it. And some more of this one, make it bigger, and some more of this one. We'll go back and add in color and make it like that. You can even make the trees kind of 3D by putting it around here. And then you can also add like bark to your trees later. Doesn't really matter, you kind of add what you want. All right, next we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and erase my horizon line. So it's not going to cut through my buildings. And don't mind my rabbit that decided he wanted to just walk through my drawing. Hi! So it is a little messy, but we'll color. We'll be covered up with um, <laughs> coloring. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making some windows for my building. So to do this, you can do it however you want, but this is just the easiest way that I found. Is that I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use charcoal again because it's darker. Go ahead and make some away <laughs> lines here. Make top of windows. And then line here, 
things here for the bottom of the windows and then go ahead and finish out those windows. So this is what the windows will look like on the front. It'll look a little bit different when it's on the side because you have to follow the top of your building line here that's going towards the vanishing point. So you're going to go parallel with this part of the building for the top of your windows. So I'm going to go here, top of my windows, Hi. <laughs> lengthen my window, lengthen my window, and then I'm going to go back to the vanishing point, make the bottom, and I see I didn't make it long enough here, so I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And then there's your window for the side of the building. So you can go ahead and do this all the way down the side of the building. I'm going to cut through a little bit to show you what it looks like when it's done with the size of the building. All right, so we're back and i am already gone through these first three buildings. I'm going to add a little bit still to kind of just go over what we did for this one and this one. So to make them look a little more realistic, I liked how it looked more with the little front showing instead of just having it be one side, being the side profile. So I'm going to go through and also add a little bit of a front to this one. And I'm also going to do it to this one back here. Just because I like how it looks, you don't have to do it this way. So then this will be the last building that kind of like disappears into the vanishing point. So as you can see going through here, the windows will actually start changing which angle like the top will be at. So the ones up here are slanting downwards towards the vanishing point, where the ones in the middle are uh, more horizontal towards the vanishing point, and the ones actually towards the bottom are slanting upwards as you go through. So I'm going to show you guys go through a little bit more on just like practicing going through the buildings. So for the front facing ones, they're going to be all horizontal. Everything's going to be um, not towards the vanishing point. So there's going to be straight lines here and a straight vertical line not going towards the vanishing point for the front parts of the building. So I'm going to go through and add a couple more lines. So that's going to be another window. Go through another line. Another line. That's going to be another window. If you want to be really ambitious, well, kind of, you can add a door. So that one's going all the way to the street, and it's going to be a door. And that's just going to be part of the street. Mm -hmm. Go through then, this is where you have to start using the vanishing point. So the lines, will, for your vertical lines, they will be straight, just going up and down. So I'm going to make, it's going to be a window, that's going to be a window, and I'll make just three windows on that building. And then go through, go to your vanishing point, angle it to the top of that um, line you made for your window, and make it as long as you want. Just don't go all the way to the end because then it kind of just blends into the wall. I'm just going to be quick and go through all three of them, just turning my ruler as I go. Just makes it a little bit easier instead of having to keep moving the ruler back and forth between windows. And then when I go through, I can just take one straight line and finish those up. So then I have my three windows for that building. And then I am going to add a couple little teeny windows to this one that's in the background more so. Um, let's see. I'll see how many I get to. I think I'm going to do three. Just because I think that'll look okay. And since that's the front of the building here, it'll also be like these fronts of the building where it's just horizontal and vertical lines just being straight though is not going towards the vanishing point and then I will be making a couple of windows that are going towards the vanishing point I'm just going to make two because it'll be super easy that way and then I'm using the vanishing point so I'm not going to go all the way to the line so it's going to be teeny teeny windows teeny teeny windows going towards that vanishing point teeny teeny windows that have a kind of a funky line to them. All right, so then we have all of our buildings done. You can add your trees, you can add bushes to the bottom if you want to, grass, you can make a little park scene. Um, I'm gonna add also in some clouds 
and there's different ways you can do this but I'm gonna do it kind of where it gets smaller towards the back so I'm gonna add little clouds in here and then get bigger as I get closer to my front of my the upper part of my page and then big clouds so then now is the fun part where you get to go through and erase lines to make it so it looks a little bit cleaner you can also cover up lines easily too when you color it in depending on what you use so I'm gonna use marker just because that's what I have in the picture I showed you for this one I used crayons and some colored pencils so you can use whatever you want if you want if you want to be ambitious you can go ahead and paint it but I'm just gonna go through and get rid of some of my lines I don't want anymore so this line here that I was using for the tops of my buildings I'm gonna get rid of it between my buildings and I'm like don't erase the actual top of your building because this is part of the building this little line in here not part of my building go ahead erase that you can go ahead and erase this line through your trees and kind of just go through which what you want and I'm gonna go back and redraw my trees to make them look better and you should always make sure that the tree in the front is in like in front of the trees behind it because this tree is in front in like your picture in front of the tree behind it and have it look like there's another tree there all right if you wanted to you can even add if you're really good at drawing and you want to try and be a little bit ambitious you can add a car in the road have it go if you want to do a car you should have it where the front of the car is more short going this way because the lines you're going to want to draw for the sides of the car are going to want to fall at the vanishing point so your car is going to look kind of like in this kind of shape so and you can go ahead and draw it however you'd like but if you want to make a car it would have actually have a shorter line in the front longer line in the back because the sides would be out a little bit because you're going towards the vanishing point because the farther away the car is the smaller it's going to look so now I'm going to go ahead and go back to a time lapse. You can go ahead and pause the video whenever you want to show you what it looks like as I'm coloring it in to make it a little bit more lifelike and to make it a little bit more of what you'll probably end up as a finished product. All right, so this is what the completed project looks like. I colored in kind of fast, so it's not super in the lines, and also I had marker, and it's a really big piece of paper, so it's not super perfect, but it's also something that anyone can do. You can be five, you can be 50, doesn't really matter. So this is what the project looks like. This is for one point perspective. So on the next lesson, we'll start learning about two point perspective, and stay tuned until the next one. Thanks.